Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And um, thank you for uh, those of you who have been working hard so that uh, this uh, training and uh, some part of its workshop is uh, to be materialized. I'm very grateful uh, for those um, uh, GIZ, I see, and the internet, uh, Minister of Education, Axum University staff, and the NADRI, uh, who have been also giving us uh, a training on data carpentry last year. And uh, a continuation of that, uh, this workshop is uh, going to be materialized. And uh, I believe that uh, the previous training, and of course, this, uh, this training will uh, help us to capacitate ourselves uh, so that uh, to be on the right track in uh, uh, <coughs> research especially with the uh, digital uh, repository uh, issues. Next. To introduce you Axiom University for, our, for the guests. Uh, Axiom University has been functioning since 2006. It's almost 11 years uh, since we started um, uh, functioning. And uh, currently uh, we have um, uh, more than 25,000 students and uh, about um, 1,500 academic staff uh, including um, uh, <coughs> uh, different uh, support staff, which, which really help us uh, to, to, to implement our mission in uh, research, in the teaching learning process, and in the, in the uh, community service. We do have also postgraduate students and different postgraduate programs, and such training will help us uh, for our students to make our research activities uh, more visible uh, 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 for all of um, them, and uh, I will provide detailed information regarding Axiom University and our research um, activity, and I'm very glad to announce that this workshop is uh, officially opened. Thank you very much. My, my, my presentation will be uh, Ethiopia's scientific research performance. When you say performance, we will talk about the output, we'll talk about the productivity, and we'll put, talk about uh, the quality of uh, the scientific uh, research we carried out and uh, we will have some uh, analysis and insights from uh, the Babylometric. It is all about uh, digital uh, repository training, therefore uh, the Babylometric issue is uh, very important where we analyze um, our research trends, our performance on research, our productivity on research and uh, our quality of research, there are different indicators uh, that indicate uh, the, the parameters that I have mentioned earlier. And uh, my name is uh, Kiros Gush. I just put here uh, my ORCID ID, my researcher ID, and uh, my Scopus author ID because in the, in the, in the uh, document that Yirga was distributing, I saw that there is some uh, training on uh, how to use ORCID, how to see Mendeley. Therefore, I just put them so that they trigger you on, uh, uh, for tomorrow's training because there will be a training on uh, how we will create uh, our Mendeley desktop and uh, Mendeley uh, profile and the uh, ORCID. Nowadays it is becoming mandatory to publish papers. If, if, if you don't have uh, uh, <coughs> ORCID, there are some, some, some journals which insist to have it, especially if, uh, uh, in for, the, for the corresponding author at least. And, uh, uh, my data for the all the uh, research performance is from uh, Scopus. Uh, Scopus is a LCVers company. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Sorry. Yeah, so before, before we talk on the research, just, uh, I have started in the opening part that there are figures and factors about uh, Axum University. We do have uh, four campuses. Uh, one is uh, main campus in Axum, and another campus is here in Axum also for uh, health science. And we'll have additional campus in Shure, uh, which is uh, 60 kilometers uh, towards the west. And we'd have also 20 or 22 kilometers far from this towards uh, the eastern part, Adwa. So we'd have uh, four campuses and we'd have two CEP centers. Um, the access to education 
uh, is very low in Ethiopia. We, 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 we only uh, uh, provide or we have access for only 12% of uh, for the youth who can, who can join the university. So it is very low when you compare even with uh, sub-Saharan countries. So we are, we are uh, <coughs> uh, opening different centers for continuing education uh, programs. So we do have one uh, uh, continuing education uh, center in Homora and we'd have one additional uh, continuing education center in uh, um, Wolkite. And we'd have six colleges, we'd have three schools, we'd have one institute focusing for archaeology and the tourism, we'd have um, 70 undergraduate programs, we'd have 28 postgraduate programs, we'd have 1,400 academic staff, more than 25,000, I mean, uh, students. And of course, our budget is um, uh, government budget, so we'd have more than one billion Ethiopian per budget. Our mission is uh, mainly focusing on uh, the teaching learning. So there is one tetrahedron structure. Uh, uh, one of our mission is the teaching learning process. Uh, and this teaching learning process, of course, is uh, uh, closely linked with the research, with the community services, with the industry. And another mission is we provide, res we, we, we do research, we provide community services, and uh, we do have also um, a supportive um, uh, training and research with different industries. So this is uh, mainly the mission of um, the university. So if, if I say something this, uh, about Axiom University, uh, the main topic is the research performance of uh, Ethiopian researchers and Ethiopian uh, institutes. And, uh, the mega data or <coughs> data um, centers known in the world is the um, uh, Google Scholar uh, and the Thomson Reuters and the one that I mentioned earlier that is the Scopus are uh, um, data sources uh, for, for, for uh, uh, scientific research. Uh, of course, the Google Scholar doesn't have uh, a screening mechanism, anything associated with your name, anything associated with uh, the word Ethiopia or with the word Yirga, with the word something can be uh, brought into your attention. But the Thomson Reuters, uh, they have a tough screening mechanism on, uh, on uh, uh, the reputable uh, uh, journals. So, so far, I guess they do have uh, more than 11,000 scientific journals indexed in Thomson. And uh, there are about um, 22,700 or nearly 23,000 journals indexed in uh, uh, Thomson, I mean in uh, Scopus. And those Thomson Reuters and the uh, Scopus, they do have also their specialized uh, 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 searching engines such as uh, uh, Saival uh, and uh, lots of uh, 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 citation uh, uh, impacts. And <coughs> all the sources. Uh, uh, in my presentation are uh, from um, the Scopus. So when you see the Ethiopia research output, um, the first paper that is targeted with the Ethiopia, uh, the name Ethiopia is published in 19, uh, I mean 1831. Uh, uh, that paper was published in uh, German language. There was a missionary uh, on, uh, he did his research on uh, medicinal uh, uh, plants. It is written in German language. I couldn't understand the details, but I just copied the abstract and used Google uh, Translator uh, to, 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 to see on which uh, content that the research focused. So it focused on uh, medicinal uh, plants. Then uh, there is no any publication, as you can see. Yeah, uh, no publication. In uh, uh, 1930s, we started some publication. Most of those people are actually missionary people uh, who come to Ethiopia for different um, reasons. Then uh, <coughs> around this, we, 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 start, we, we start to have a, a university, uh, Addis Ababa University, the, the, the called Haile Selassie uh, uh, University uh, College. Then after that, as you can see, uh, the research uh, performance uh, or the research output uh, of Ethiopia is increasing and increasing, especially in the last, um, uh, I mean, seven or eight years. This is 2010. Then uh, from that, that uh, the increment is, um, as you can see, you can see the slope. Uh, uh, so uh, just we are, we are um, performing better and better from time to time, uh, which can be associated with different factors, with the uh, attention of the government to higher education, the expansion of higher education, the expansion of uh, uh, postgraduate programs, 
and of course uh, uh, the economic growth by itself uh, can 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 contribute uh, for the <coughs> uh, uh, research output as you can see i have tried to compare the research growth in ethiopia and the research growth um, uh, in kenya i i use this data from uh, smigo smigo i guess yeah so as you can see uh, this is for Kenya in 1996 uh, six percent of uh, uh, the African research uh, output was output was uh, uh, taken by Kenya. That means Kenya had uh, six percent contribution in the African research output, but its ratio is decreasing, decreasing through time, and now they are around uh, four point three or four point four in 2014, and in Ethiopia in 1996 we have had uh, a ratio of uh, around 2.5 and uh, in some years the contribution was uh, decreasing but now it is becoming increasing so in uh, 2014 we almost reach about uh, 3.3 um, uh, uh, so uh, our our share in african research is increasing and of course our global share is also for kenya is almost line and for ours is almost line with slight increment of uh, around here so we still we still are increasing but i will show you how much poor we are in research uh, uh, <coughs> output when we compare with uh, other african countries and this is uh, i use some um, uh, top african countries uh, using gdp uh, the total uh, Domestic growth or something. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, domestic, product. domestic product. Thank you very much. So I use some um, uh, eight. I mean nine countries. So the, this is the the, the, the graph shows uh, how the research performance of these countries is increasing. This is for um, uh, South Africa. Uh, for South Africa, it is um, uh, um, currently they have uh, more than three. 120 scientific papers uh, and this one is for Egypt for Egypt it's also its research productivity is also increasing uh, and uh, the next one is the green one and this one is up this one is um, uh, Nigeria so the Nigeria part is something declining but the Tunisia research uh, uh, output is increasing from time to time sharply and this one is for um, Algeria, for Morocco, Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania. This is uh, in order. And I saw something in the, in the, in the material that uh, there will be a discussion on open access uh, um, uh, journals. Uh, I, I, I calculate the ratio of uh, their open access uh, articles uh, uh, over the total uh, number of articles. So for South Africa, 3.8% uh, is in open access. Uh, in Egypt, 5.6% of the articles is in open access. Uh, in Tunisia, uh, Algeria, Morocco, Kenya, Ethiopia, in order of 3.6, 4.3, 5.7, and 7% are in their open access. Of course, there is, there is um, some ambiguity with uh, uh, open access. There are predatory journals who misuse um, the issue of uh, open access um, uh, uh, journals and the quality of the journals is also to be considered in order to compare this one is much higher in open access and this one is more uh, lower in open access so the quality of the articles the, i mean the quality of the journals is also to be considered but this is uh, the fact so for the analysis for the interpretation will be um, something different from this and i further look into uh, if this is the if this is the research output of uh, uh, the countries and in which journals are we really publishing so the journals are categorized into four q1 q2 q3 q4 in their thematic areas the q4 is the poorest journal in the thematic area and the q1 is the best journal in the in that in its respective uh, thematic area so uh, <sighs> This is top number one, top number two uh, journalists. For example, if you consider Ethiopia, Ethiopia, considering the high number of articles published in which journal, that means uh, we publish in Ethiopian Medical Journal, and that journal is Q3, uh, that is uh, uh, 
poor journal. That means it's a poor journal. Uh, but if you see, for example, South Africa, uh, it is South African Medical Journal. They publish high number of articles in this journal, and that journal is categorized in Q2 in its own thematic area. If you see Egypt, it is Q3. If it is, uh, if you see Nigeria, African Journal of Medicine and Medical Science, Q3 also. Tunisia Medical Q3. So if you see this African uh, uh, countries, they mostly publish in their own journals, and those journals are mostly the poor journals. So because there is no Q1 except Tanzania. Tanzania, uh, they publish most in uh, plus one, and plus one is actually a Q1 journal, as Kenya is Q4. And if you consider the number second journal, second journal considering the number of articles published, here is Q2, Q4, Q4, uh, not determined, Q3, Ethiopia is Q1 here, uh, plus one, and plus one for uh, uh, Kenya is also Q1. And these are uh, the journals where we mostly publish, and that indicates how much poor our research activity is if we are not able to publish in Q1 journals in different thematic areas. And mostly they focus on uh, health science. I will tell you something later about this health science issue. And I further look into in which area are just um, nine African countries or some African countries, I, I use it to compare with some other countries, of course, in which thematic area are we doing better? Are we doing better in health science? Are we doing better in social science research? Are we doing better in science and technology? Or are we doing better in agriculture? So if you see, if you see here, for example, for Malaysia, Malaysia is a country which, which is showing uh, tremendous uh, uh, <coughs> productivity in uh, research, especially in the last uh, uh, 15 years, uh, w w similar with uh, Vietnam, of course. So if you see here, this red one is for physical science and uh, STEM, which includes all the engineering, all the natural science fields, including uh, astronomy. So Malaysia, about 61% uh, or around 60% is focusing on science and technology. And if you see Egypt also, about 60% of the total publications is focused on science and technology. If you see Tanzania is also about 60%. If you see Nigeria here, only 30% is focusing on science and technology. If you see Algeria is about uh, uh, maybe 70 plus uh, percent. Morocco here about uh, uh, 70 or uh, 65 uh, uh, person. So these are the countries which, f which, f which focus uh, or uh, most of their publication is, more than 60% of their publication is in uh, science and technology. If you come to Eastern Africa, if you come to Eastern Africa, Tanzania, Ghana, Ethiopia, Kenya, their research activity in science and technology is very poor, mainly within, within below 20% in most of the time, below 20%. If you say in Ethiopia, we are doing good in agriculture, uh, which is about, uh, this is 40, so 30, 32 um, percent. If you look in uh, Tanzania, uh, Ghana, I guess they are doing good in uh, health sciences, in health sciences. But when, when you look into the details of the health science articles, most of them are, uh, we call them Inam Harik Mardonagari. Just they, the, most of them are uh, not on the medical part, on the science part, the brother, they, they, they focus on uh, prevalence, prevalence of uh, child mortality, prevalence of malaria in some area, prevalence of something in that area. So, which doesn't, of course, uh, help into the, the, the medical science, but rather they give information, they give information for the decision maker or for the policy makers so that uh, they, can, they can arrange their policy. So, this is our research activity. So, if, 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 if you look into the future, we really need to work hard in the science and engineering areas, in mathematics areas, uh, so that uh, uh, to keep the moment of economic growth, because the, 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 the world needs that. The world needs that, I can say. So, when I come to the details of the Ethiopia, in which I believe that uh, we should have been uh, show um, higher activity or higher performance in this area. For example, if you consider uh, the case of uh, Great Ethiopian Resonance Dam, 
It is uh, built in Ethiopia and it has um, uh, um, many controversies, many dimensions, uh, considering different interests of uh, 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 different uh, countries. Uh, there are political interests, economic interests. Uh, so considering that it is uh, a controversy, therefore we need to work hard in this area. We need to produce more papers, more scientific research, so that we can convince the scientific community as Ethiopian institutes, as Ethiopian researchers. But in this area, we perform poor. Egypt is number one, USA, Ethiopia. But considering the, the source of information is with us, and uh, uh, we have access, uh, if geographical location is also very important. Uh, so I was expecting that we should have been performing better in this research, but still we are poor. And if you consider the number of um, articles, uh, for example, we'd have a total of 53 articles, seven of them are book chapters, four of them are b conference papers, and a short survey, editorial is one, review is one and the, if you consider the conference papers Egypt has four conference papers but we Ethiopians should have zero paper that means we didn't talk uh, about that dam for in scientific conferences this is very this is very poor that we need to that we need to uh, enhance of course uh, so there are also other issues which which I cannot mention here considering the audience uh, I believe also SESAM is our, our, our uh, 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 product uh, which earns uh, uh, <coughs> more hard currency and uh, I was expecting that we should have more productive research productivity in this system but unfortunately unfortunately we are here uh, producing uh, only 26 papers out of the 8,300 scientific papers on SESAM. Uh, similarly, uh, coffee is also, uh, we are known in coffee uh, and uh, when you say Ethiopia land of origins, one of the land of origin is coffee and uh, uh, I was expecting that uh, we, we, we would have more research activities uh, in coffee but total we'd have 32 scientific papers of in coffee who use coffee uh, the coffee word in their abstract, in their title, or in their keyword. And uh, uh, Ethiopia here, we are here producing only 260 scientific papers. And if you, if you go to the details of the uh, scientific papers, uh, we are, we are, we are um, uh, in a very poor position. Uh, the same is also honeybee. Uh, everybody knows um, the special the Tigray uh, honey, which is uh, uh, exported uh, mainly. And there are about 12,000 or 13,000 papers on honey. And uh, Ethiopia is here producing only 62 or 66 uh, uh, papers. So we are performing poor here. But we expect that uh, uh, we need to have, we need to work uh, uh, in this research. That means the quality of honey, uh, the system that we export, the coffee that we export is, the knowledge is mainly on the farmer's hand. The scientific community is not doing well in this issue so that to enhance the quality, to enhance the productivity. So having said this, uh, I have tried to compare uh, the research productivity of Ethiopian universities. Ethiopian universities, we classify them in generations. We'd have fourth generation universities, we'd have second generation universities, in which Aksu University is one. We'd have third generation universities, and we'd have fourth generation universities. So the data on the fourth generation, third generation, and uh, uh, second generation is mo mostly noisy data because it's very few. It cannot be uh, <coughs> going with the scales of the same verse. So these are the first generation universities. This is Addis Ababa University. And uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, performing well. And uh, this is Jimma University. Uh, uh, performing well next to Addis Ababa around this, but uh, from 2014. Uh, just Mekele University, Gondar University are uh, uh, performing good in this case. So you can see this uh, how much uh, how much uh, <coughs> the universities are competing. That's uh, Addis Ababa is uh, second to none, almost second to none. And uh, we tried to compare. We tried to compare which universities' scientific papers are impactful. Which scientific research, so which universities scientific research is impactful? So as you can see, this is the total research productivity, I mean output, 
it should be output, not productivity, actually. So, Addis Ababa University, Ababa Munch University, Bahadar University, Harama University, Hawassa University, Jumma University, Makala University, and uh, University of Gondar. As you can see, the research output, this is number one, then uh, Gondar, MAU, and uh, Jumma. This is on uh, their productivity. Then uh, uh, we, we, we also export the data for their total citation. Addis Ababa University has high citation, then Makala University has the next citation. So when there are high number of citations, we believe that this is an indicator of quality of the papers. If the paper gets more citation, then, uh, well, there is also a scenario of open access and uh, not open, but still uh, we can say that it is uh, uh, more quality. Then we divided that uh, productivity to, I mean, the output to citation, then uh, Macaulay inverse papers get 14.76 citations. Uh, per, per single paper. At Sava University got 11.58 citation per single paper, a very citation. And Bahadur University got 11.44 average uh, uh, citation uh, per paper. Therefore, this indicates that uh, uh, <coughs> on, on uh, some quality parameters, some quality parameters of uh, uh, research and uh, the Macaulay University's paper got uh, higher citation indicating that uh, there are other issues, other factors, of course, but it can indicate uh, some qualities. And uh, where, which, which country is citing for Macaulay University? So if you compare that, for example, uh, the United States of uh, America is citing more papers, uh, or Macaulay University's papers are cited in the US in uh, most of these, more than 5,000, or about 5,000 papers are cited in the US. Uh, of course, uh, the, the, the scientific productivity of USA is much higher than the other, so this could be another factor. So United States, United Kingdom, China, Ethiopia, in order are, those are citing papers for uh, uh, Macaulay University. I further look into Axum University. Uh, you know, uh, the staff is very young. Uh, most of the staff are MSc holders. We have very few PhD holders. We are only uh, 11 years uh, since we start functioning. And in the early times, most of the instructors were um, uh, uh, graduate um, uh, assistants, and there is no research infrastructure. So we don't blame our staffs, uh, but uh, uh, this is um, our productivity. So uh, we started uh, publishing one paper in 2010, I guess around 2010, and as you can see, one, here is about five, exactly. So uh, in this, uh, the blue one is uh, uh, publication. So uh, last year, 2017, we'd have uh, about 37 or 35 uh, papers. In 2018, I didn't include this, uh, but uh, uh, so far we'd have about 51 uh, uh, papers per year, uh, very small, but encouraging the, 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 the growth, the growth is, uh, uh, encouraging and the green one is uh, 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 the green one is a uh, citation without uh, self citation we exclude the self citation and the pink one is total citation so our citation is also increasing then I check it which country are citing our papers number one is China is citing our papers and uh, Ethiopia India, uh, United States, blah, blah. So this is in order of uh, the, citing, the citation order. So this is all about um, the just, I want you to bring some uh, information on how the Ethiopian research is going on so that uh, it will help you in the training uh, session so that uh, to challenge this, uh, uh, the staff uh, so that uh, uh, to let them work hard to encourage our postgraduate students uh, so that uh, to publish their uh, research, if they have to publish their research, they have to have access to previously published articles. Therefore, the ICT center, the library should uh, should work hard so that our students, our staff should get uh, uh, access to different research papers. Uh, uh, mostly in Ethiopia, many people complain uh, about uh, access to scientific research, which is true. We don't have. Uh, uh, mostly access to Elsevier, to, 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 to many publishers, I can say. Uh, some universities have to Elsevier, and some uh, few universities have access to 
uh, Elsevier, but most of the universities do not have access to Elsevier. And we are not smart enough uh, also to use just open access or to use different techniques to get uh, 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 scientific articles. I was reading some uh, uh, research output that was done by uh, World Bank. 70% of uh, the high impact journalists uh, can be accessed at any spot of the Eastern Africa. But uh, most of the staff, most of the academics, the researchers do not know uh, the different mechanisms that we have, like uh, Agora, like the Hinari, and other uh, uh, hubs that, that help us, for, that help for developing countries. And I hope uh, this training will uh, give us an insight uh, so that we can use different opportunities. I thank you very much. Thank you very much.